Hey everyone, this is a quick look at my latest custom build. It is a train locomotive for freight purposes. And to my brothers and sisters to the north, I have to say this is not intended to represent something from CN Rail, but if you want to claim it in your own head cannon, I'm okay with that. This does not represent any one specific model of real world locomotive. I had two things in mind as I went about designing and building this thing from scratch. First of all, I wanted to finally have a North American locomotive that looked like most of the locomotives that can be seen on American railways these days. They all have the same basic archetype, the same basic look to them with a lot of really, really fine details that differ between them that I personally don't uh, follow. I, I can recognize the big stuff. I can't recognize the little stuff just off the top of my head because I'm not that type of train fan, interestingly. I'm the type of train fan that loves trains, but isn't able to readily identify the difference between an SD70M and an SD70MAC and an SD70ACE or something like that. I know that they exist, but <laughs> if, if two of them were coupled together, I wouldn't be able to tell you which is which. But I wanted to have that narrow body, the same style of body, main body, that's been used for decades and decades and decades, over half a cent, well over half a century now, but with the modern style of cab, the so-called comfort cab, which is full width at the nose. And Lego itself has not done anything quite like this, which is why I had to do something fully custom. And the second thing that I wanted to accomplish with this was an homage to the Southern Pacific Railway color scheme. Not CN, but Southern Pacific, because I grew up uh, very near Southern Pacific lines and specifically very near a Southern Pacific classification yard where I was able to watch the cars being moved around and trains actually getting, uh, getting set up. As I got into this, I also decided to make it have three axle or six wheel trucks or bogies. I went through almost all of this process from start to finish live, most of that happening to the public on Twitch, from raiding my red and black parts bins, just generally looking for pieces that I knew would be used, or I thought would be useful for this build, for the, the, the basic shapes that I thought I would be going for, to diagnosing small problems, complicated little tiny things to get offsets that I wasn't familiar with dealing with. In the past, I used some clipwise construction and a little bit of studs on the side construction uh, that I have not done before, just some techniques that I've not delved into in the past. So I definitely feel like I grew a little bit with my capabilities uh, to, to diagnose things and also to think outside the box when it comes to building techniques. Nothing special uh, really compared to what people who are truly experienced can do, but it was still progress for me and I'm, I'm happy for that. And I was happy to have the opportunity to, to take on some challenges and I'm glad that I was able to get through some of them. But in the end, I, hey, I'm happy with how this turned out. It captures everything that that I wanted. All the all the boxes are are ticked here. It's it's got the the wide cab that I wanted. The the overall size is is pretty good. I didn't want this to be too long. Folks who know locomotives will say that this is way too short, but it is already the longest piece of rolling or equal to the longest piece of rolling stock that I have on my entire layout. And I don't use any aftermarket Lego rail pieces. Thus, I have just the very very tight radii, they're very, very tight turns that Lego has produced over the years, which have been very consistent. So I cannot afford to have a super long locomotive. I don't want to have a super long locomotive. It's going to take up a bunch of space and not be able to make it through turns effectively without looking absolutely terrible. So yeah, there's building on the sides for much of the cab. The top section of the cab is attached separately right at the end. Uh, there's some funky techniques that had to be used to get the, the rearmost uh, window right there to fit in place. Also the, the radiator exhaust up here, getting that to be settled in place to not have gaps around the sides of the, the radiators, had to use some, some bar techniques and such. The, the large stickers on the sides were just things, I think that came from the Death Star, the Star Wars Death Star. I turned one of them around. I 
was just looking through my parts bin, looking to see if I had anything, uh, anything flat with a, a black color underneath. And I saw those and I'm like, I need to use this. You know, I'm not going to have custom stickers on this thing, but that looks like something that makes sense. And that ended up making it look more like a CN rail thing. But in the end, I'm happy with it. Let me show you one additional detail down here. With the trucks or bogies, Lego has not done a lot in the way of three axle setups other than having some three axle locomotives that they've done in the past where the whole thing just sticks together. I needed this to be able to take turns without binding up and thus the center axle needed to be able to move side to side. It took several tries, several attempts, several uh, uh, brainstorms and failures in fact to come up with something that would work for me that would still be narrow enough for my standards. I want to use just the six wide standard with a maximum width of eight uh, at the, the widest points where, every, where details extend from the outside. That's how my layout was designed. And so I tried several different things to, to come up with this and still have enough detail on the outside to make it look okay. And I just realized that I probably wanna add some filler pieces in this one. I added fillers on the the other truck, the other bogey, but this has a little bit of space left over there. So from some angles, you might see some small gaps, but just generally speaking, I'm happy with the, the overall look of this and it does run. Now, in terms of how it runs, these are not powered trucks. The other one are powered bogies. The other one is done basically the same as this. I specifically did not want to limit myself and complicate things tremendously by having to do a custom powered setup for this. So I told myself right from the start, no power in the locomotive. It will be pushed by faux locomotives, like my powered rail, uh, powered box car, which works just fine. As a matter of fact, I've been intending to use unpowered locomotives more and more since the Lego nine volt uh, motors are becoming more and more scarce. I'm looking forward to FX bricks coming out with theirs, but for now, using fewer of those motors is a smarter thing and this works just fine with simply a powered box car and i'll do more variations of things like that in the future just powered powered rolling stock you know powered non-locomotive rolling stock and what do you know the thing gets around the layout just fine it's smooth it looks basically how i want it to i wasn't really thinking in my mind even what this would look like as i Went through the design process i was surprised in the end when it when basically all the the major details and major shapes came together with how it looked it looks unique to me it doesn't look specifically like just one locomotive that i'm used to but it it definitely uh looks like the general archetype like i mentioned earlier of just the type of locos that i see just going around the union pacific line and such and my region and if I search for American locomotives I see things that look like this but this does have that Southern Pacific charm which just speaks to me and my nostalgia very specifically. Uh, I did not need to go with the red line at the base of it but I chose to do that specifically because the old Southern Pacific switchers had that red line. The SW1500s I believe had that red line that I used to watch uh, doing their work in, in the local yard. And so I wanted to, to just have a little homage to those in this, even though this is a road locomotive. And I'm happy with it. So I will continue to make more custom stuff. You'll see more train stuff from me in the future and a lot more progress on the city just in general. Thank you for watching. Hope that you've enjoyed this and I'll talk to you again soon.